Okay, welcome to uh, Election Special, Steve Prime TV, and uh, I'm delighted to say that Shadow Work of Pension Secretary Theresa May has come down from London, from the Shadow Cabinet, to uh, help me launch my campaign here in Winchester. Thank you so much it's great for to coming. Um, Winchester's a key seat for, for me, obviously, but uh, it's a key seat for you and David Cameron. Absolutely. I mean, it's one of the seats that can make a real difference, that can actually make the change that I think the country wants, and uh, make that choice between Gordon Brown's tired Labour government making matters worse and change under the Conservatives. Because yeah. I think it's us, the, the party, that's actually got the energy and the leadership and the values to get the country moving again. So a seat like this can make a key difference. What we've been saying to people here, you know, and we've had a fantastic response. For three and a half years I've been the candidate here, but we've had a fantastic response from people on the doorstep who, who sort of said to me, well, you know, Steve, I, I did vote Conservative way back, but, you know, we have supported the Liberal Democrats in the last 13 years, and obviously that's delivered them a Labour government. And what we're saying to them is, you know, you, you can have a good local MP, I, I live here in the constituency, we've got a young family here, but equally you can change the government at the same time. And, and this country desperately, I mean, you see it every day in Parliament, this country desperately needs to change the government, doesn't it? Oh, it does. I mean, we really need to. There's a, there's a huge choice at this election for people that would affect every man, woman and child across the, across the country. And I think we've got the right argument on the economy. I mean, Labour's jobs tax will kill recovery. So, yeah. you know, that's why we've got to cut waste to, to stop it. But we've also got, I think, the big idea for the future of the country, which is that big government has failed. Um, what we need now is the big society. Absolutely, and, and in terms of here in Winchester, some of the big issues that come up and, and that really matter to us here in Winchester, I mean, the environment and our, our plans for moving Britain to a low carbon economy, you know, that matters a great deal. Obviously, our plans for the health service, and I've made that my number one priority here, but just touching on your area, um, David Cameron's pension and pledge, and you know, our proposals for older voters are really, really strong this time, aren't they? It, absolutely, and what we've seen, I'm afraid, is we've seen the Labour Party, which has been going around making all sorts of claims about what we would do for pensions, false claims about yeah. what we'd do for yeah. pensions, and we're we've absolutely yeah. Absolutely clear, you know, that we're going to protect them into fuel allowance, free TV licence, free bus passes, pension, pension credits. And of course we're committed to relinking the basic state pension to average earnings, which, which would be a benefit to pensioners. Uh, uh, and so I think we've got a really clear message for older people. And, and alongside that, our idea is, you know, to work with local councils, to freeze council tax for two years. Council tax can be a really difficult hit for, uh, uh, for pensioners, particularly if you're living on a fixed income income and your council tax keeps going up, that could be really difficult for you. And just on the other side, finally, of your brief, you know, the, the work side of your brief, I mean, Winchester's a, a, a relatively affluent area, but, you know, one of the big worries here is there is unemployment here, people are obviously concerned about their jobs, and, you know, you talked about the jobs tax, so we will obviously deal with Labour's jobs tax, but, you know, in terms of making job centres work, in terms of giving this generation of young people that we're so worried about, you know, our plans for youth apprenticeships, could you maybe just quickly run us through Yeah, there? I mean, it, it's so important, I think, that particularly that young people are actually given more opportunities. Because if you if you have a period of unemployment at the beginning of your working life as a young person, I think it can scar you for yeah. the rest of your life. So over two years, we would create 400,000 extra apprenticeships, uh, training and other training places, some more places for FE colleges, work pairings for young people getting uh, skills and experience working with sole traders. So a real raft of opportunities for young people to help them actually get the skills that they need and then into sustainable work. And that's the other thing we're very much focused on, that our proposals for radical welfare reform are focused on getting people into sustainable work. It's not just about doing something for a few months and then coming back onto unemployment. It's about making sure people can actually get into work. Well, here, here, thank you for coming. And we will do our best to put you in the cabinet and uh, put these ideas into practice. Just finally, what is your message to the voters of Winchester? Right? Well, my message to the voters of Winchester is, is very simple. In this election, they've got a choice between five more years of Gordon Brown and his tired Labour government or change under the Conservatives with the energy, leadership and values to get the country moving. And here in Winchester, they can vote for that change by voting for a Conservative candidate, Steve Bryan, who would be a first-class local MP, as he's shown over the past few years as the candidate here that he's got the energy and the ideas to actually do something for Winchester and represent Winchester in Parliament very well. Thank you. First-class, Steve. Thank you. She's good, isn't she? Thank you for coming, Teresa. We'll let you get on your way.